Starting it. I'll watch it. Just getting started. Look, the queen has arrived. We haven't made a Sunday afternoon vlog in a while. Did you hear? Because it's so hot. She asked me the other day, she said, how did people, come one of our resident Mario Andretti's. How do people live without air conditioning? That's the million dollar question of the day. If you live in the South, how did you live without air conditioning? Well, Jeff's answer was they just didn't know any better because they didn't have air conditioning. So they didn't know a difference in a cool house versus the heat outside. But I'm thankful that I live in the time period where someone invented air conditioning. Yeah. And heat for the CW winter. Andrews or somebody like that. I forget what now. Now the breeze feels nice. It's a little warm, but. Well, we're here in the shade. Bella, one of these days, that little brat, that's what I call Bella, the brat. No, she's She's the baby girl. Brat. Oh, look. A couple of weeks ago, huh, a couple of months ago, probably now, my son went over to uh, Birmingham, Alabama, blah, blah, Birmingham, Alabama to visit our daughter. And he brought me something back. He said they went to a, a flea market. And he said, Dad, I got you something. Look what he got me. Now, I have two of these that belong to my granddaddy. And uh, they're no longer functional. Well, look, watch this. It opens. Yeah, but look, it's got a sticker for the price yeah. tag, and it looks like it's like 49 45 cents. Look, Yeah, it looks like a... maybe 45 I don't know if y'all can make it out, 45 cents, maybe. Yeah. And then on the bottom, it's got the uh, tobacco tax sticker from the state of Alabama. So uh, I can actually put tobacco in this and still use it. I got a big plastic canister of uh, Prince Albert for Christmas from my, my bride here, the queen. So, uh, but I didn't want to include that in the video. Of course, done walked you through the, the little uh, garden over there and how it's going. And I've already told you how miserably hot it is. Did I tell you that we have decided this year instead of taking uh, beach vacation kind of early was going to take it kind of late and go down and see our son and his wife in Vero Beach, Florida. I didn't in tell September. you that, did I? It's in September. Well, I have decided that we're not going to do that again. Uh, it's too long of a vacationless time. And you know, this day and age that we live, we need vacations. We need to go in May, early May, and we were going to do that this year, but I had some work conflicts that came up. Cooper? And couldn't now go. Now don't you get in there. Now Coop, see Bella's a bad influence on Cooper. And Cooper no. is King. King Cooper, we like to call him Cooper the Baptist. <laughs> I don't, because he I makes do. no sense. Well, John the Baptist, Cooper the Baptist, but anyway. Yeah, well, we did have a getaway earlier. We, you know, if you've seen my video about the, um, we the to, Ark. We yes. went to the Ark Adventure. The and Ark that was Adventure. Fun. It was I mean, enjoyable. It was nice I, to get away. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, it wasn't a vacation to the beach, which we like to take every year. So we need to plan better next year. Sorry, the goat's jumping on the trash can down there. But we were going in May to see Cameron and Ashley in Vero Beach. I had some work uh, obligations that came up and really couldn't. Um, go with that time. So we yeah, that's not a turn and burn trip down there. It's about eight hour driving. Yeah, it's down below Daytona. So when you go to place or when I go to place like that, I don't feel like showing up one day, spending one day, and then turn around going back home the next day. Yeah, you need to stay a week, and we want to visit with them and spend time with them. So and Cameron has already accomplished his pilot's license, his uh, his private, private license. license. He's 
He's already taken certified, got his license, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, he's taken um, solo flights. He's flown out over three hours, I think, you know. So he's moving now into the commercial portion of it. He wants to be a commercial pilot. So yes. kudos to him at 34 years old yes. to tackle something like that. And then this week they're on vacation. They're taking a cruise, a, probably a much needed vacation for them. Um, so they're on a cruise, but when they get back, he will start his training for the commercial portion. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that's quite uh, stressful. Yeah. A lot of a lot of learning involved. Of course, our, he, he is smart as a whip. He is I very mean, he, smart. And this is when what he was he's, growing up, he was too smart for his own good, in my opinion, but I was the dad. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, but he wants, but yeah. he wants to do this, but this he's is, he's always wanted to be a pilot. He's always, yeah. always wanted to be a pilot and now his dream is coming to fruition. So he's going to do great and he's going to make it happen. So we're no, very I, proud of him. I got no him. doubt about that. He's yeah. going to make it happen. Yeah. We're very proud of him. But we were just, um, just going to get out here and, and of course, like I said, I've already, you've already, the video about the the temperature gauge and little bunny foo foo. Bunny foo foo was out here just a while ago. Oh, okay. And that's what Christy calls it, bunny foo foo. Little bunny foo foo. Mm -hmm. We got a hopping uh, through the garden. Yeah, we've got a baby deer out there somewhere. Mm -hmm. We've seen the mama. She hangs out, and I saw the baby deer. She's got it bedded down outside our pasture. Well, she hopped over the fence, and the baby deer can't do that yet because it's just maybe two weeks old, if that much. It's not much bigger than the little baby goats. Mm -hmm. so. Susie and Lucy. No, Molly and Maisie. I knew it was something that rhymed like it. But uh, smoking, I don't even know what I put in my pipe. I just grabbed a, I grabbed my, my corn cob and and, and grabbed a, a, a Ziploc bag with tobacco and I have no idea what it was, but I'm smoking it. I'm sure it's legal. So. Yep. Well, last Sunday was Father's Day, and today I was studying about Job. Now, you Bible scholars know exactly who Job is and what he went through, but the first verse and the first chapter of Job, it frames the entire book of Job. It said Job was an upright man, perfect, and he shunned evil. And, you know, I begin to think in my life, the men, besides my daddy, that were jokes in my life that I could fashion my life after. And, uh, you know, I just thought about that all week, about Job and how that we are jokes and Jobets <laughs> to, to those. Jobets. Jobets. <laughs> Jobets is on, <laughs> um, you know, and uh, just, a, just a pretty... Uh, Pretty good book, good read if you ever get a chance to sit down and read the book of Job. I, I don't know, it's a little bit depressing, but I mean, it's... Well, what's not depressing I, this day and age? I know. Well, that I mean, was biblical, yeah. but I mean, it's things that happened to him in his life yeah. and how he overcame those. Yeah, and, how he, he overcame it. Never lost his wife, lost everything else. But, she oh, must have been a darn good woman to stick with him through all that stuff, huh? Well, you stuck with me for a while, so... Yeah, but we haven't been through... What Job went through. No, we haven't, but we've been through know. stuff. But anyway, yeah, yeah. so uh, yeah, Bible scholars, if you just get just read that first that first verse, and read it several times, just think about it. So, but you know, like I said, you can tell by the way my pipe smoke's going. It's very windy out here, breezy. I hope it's not distorting the the, the sound quality, but uh, just uh, wanted to get out here and. Tired of sitting in the house. I mean, even though it is air conditioned and it's cool, I'm just tired of sitting in the house. I got here yesterday working and sweated through, oh, I don't know, about 50 gallons of sweat. How many pounds going. did you lose? Yesterday, I, well, it was a negative gain because I probably gained it back eating <laughs> something. But I pulled a, an Uncle Claude. I had a, an Uncle Claude who was an outdoor man. I mean, his yard was the prettiest on the road. His trees and shrubs just manicured. Well, after he got up on an age and started getting kind of sick, my my cousin, was his son, was helping him. And Wayne had to leave for something. He left there 
and left there and Claude was okay. But when he got back, Claude has got his lopping shears out and, and started trimming all the trees and he just didn't have strength. Oh, they've lost mama. They don't know where she's at. And she's, and she's right, oh, okay. She, I don't know if y'all heard the baby goats hollering, but. Uh, she was like 10 foot away. Yeah, but Claude couldn't finish the job and Wayne had to get her and finish it. So I went over to trim some, some bushes down at the church and then I went up to trim some trees at mom's house and uh, I got to trimming and, and apparently it's therapeutic because the next thing I know I turn around and look and I think I had at least two truckloads of limbs in mama's yard that I, then I had to clean up. Where but did you take them? I dumped them in that ditch where we've been putting stuff for like 40 years. Oh, okay. And this is not just a ditch on the side of the road it's, anywhere. It's a ditch <laughs> on mom and dad's property. Daddy, yeah. daddy dumped leaves in it for years and yeah, it's a, it's a ravine as some folks might say. But So anyway, I hope y'all had a good good day. The uh, Like I said, I just want to share that. That's why I want to have this little sit down and lo and behold, the queen come out and I said, well, come on well, down Quit here. calling me that. My bride. Not the queen. I mean, I don't, unless you're going to start treating me like that. Then. Well, okay, my wife is here with me. <laughs> <laughs> and I just want to jump in and her. I got my buddy, Ma uh, what's his name? Tommy? Tommy Blaylock. Yeah. What does it say? Just be? Just be. Beetreefarms.com. Yeah. Honey, soaps, and training. Yeah, he, he does uh, soap and stuff like that. We're we're getting ready to do our honey harvest here. I always wait till about July 4th. That way it's good and hot. That way I really get, you know, very irritated about, you know, having to get out there and work with them bees. <laughs> but really, we... Uh, We've been kind of busy with other things. Tommy's already harvested honey. I mean, right up here on the other side of my yard, he's got, oh, he had about 20 hives up there. He's got them scattered. I think he's got uh, three or four bee yards. Yeah. Matter of fact, Probably he's- Probably 100 hives. Oh yeah, he's got think? over 100 hives this yeah. year. And uh, matter of fact, he's 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 he stationed his um, uh, hives to catch the, uh, Sirewood flow. So that's what he's, that's the last big flow in these parts, sirewood. And it makes real good honey. So, but anyway, like I said, I just want to jump in here and say hi. We ain't done this in a while. And uh, uh, we're going to wind this bad boy down and let's see, it's getting, oh, I don't know, after six o'clock, I guess. Your battery didn't. 617. 617. That's close. So you got Jeff Eubanks here. And Christy. We're out here sweating, sweating to the oldies. Yep. We're the only oldies out here, that's bad. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna go in here and uh, maybe make some type of food to throw down my, my neck. I guess you would be doing that. Huh? You'll be making Oh, that's right, my wife doesn't cook on Sundays. It's fend for yourself now. That is. Of course, she didn't have that that mentality when the kids were small because she knew that they'd probably all be uh, starving to death because dad's not much of a cook. So anyway, y'all take care. Give me a thumbs up and y'all have a good day. Jeff Eubanks. That's, that's the peace, peace. sign.